Welcome everyone to another Let's Play. This is Metal Canyon and this will be one of my all-time favorite games. Commencing security sweep 121 at 1500 hours. Zone A sectors 1 through 6. CV confirmed online for all camps. Punch it in. Sector 1. Sector 1. Status normal. Status normal. Sector 2. Sector 2. Status normal. Status normal. Stop. Zoom in. No, no. Camera 4. Camera 4. And left, left, left. Close in. There. Acquire status. Unknown, sir. Zoom in. Increasing resolution. Stand by. We have a problem. Cut that chatter. Give me more audio. Track it. Track it. It's heading for sector five. Alert all sectors. Scramble XCOM crap. It's moving. Feeding all cameras. Come on. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to XCOM Apocalypse. As I said, one of my all-time favorite games. Some people don't dislike this game. Mm, some fans of XCOM. I don't know. It does have its quirks. It does have things I dislike. But overall, I think this is my favorite XCOM game. And I'm really looking forward to replaying this one. It wasn't too easy to get it working, I admit, but now it's working. So, let's play on medium setting. Now, welcome to... 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 <laughs> I forgot the name of the city. I think it's Mega Primus? I'm not sure. <laughs> let's see. Mega Primus, that's right. So as you can see, this game was intended to be far larger than it got out to the shops. Um, I think they ran out of time or budget or whatever, but originally I think uh, all the organizations were to have politics, stuff like that going on, and it was to be far more complex than it came out. But, oh well, alas. Let's check our base first. Right, we have... As opposed to the original, you don't start with an already established base. Um, sorry. You don't start by choosing where you'll have your base. So it's already built for you. The majority is already built and it's already... Uh, on your map because these um, blue buildings some of them you can have your base in and also some of the slum buildings which are these grey ones god that was not a good introduction was it? I'll just abandon this game restart see if we can get a better starting base and yes definitely this looks much better. We're in the corner of the city, which is not very optimal, but we have a rather large base with lots of space. I think I'm going to save this as our beginning point. I already have this test save because I was just testing the game if it works. Yes, overwrite. Okay, we can get started. The first thing you can see is the city is quite large. We do not have a view of the entire Earth. This time all of the battles will be done in this city alone. But don't let that put you off. They've added quite a bit of complexity to it. You've got the different organizations. Um, each of them gives you different advantages like uh, you can be friends with them, you can form alliances these are all organizations, you can check here 
which ones you're allied with. Currently with we're allied with Megapol, and if you right click on it, you can read all about them. Their balance, income, and alien infiltration, which is very nice if you want to root out any alien pests. Now, this is the government. This is the most important organization in the city. If you lose the government, the aliens, you get absolutely no funding anymore. So, be sure to protect these guys. I'm not entirely sure if changing your alignment with these guys changes anything. Uh, if you want to improve your relationships with any of the organizations, you simply click on them and click this hand button, which means you basically give them money to improve relations. But remember, if you were watching my XCOM UFO Enemy Unknown videos, XCOM Apocalypse is an absolute pig regarding money. And at least I usually had a lot of problems with money. So building a new base, that was a huge investment. Not like in XCOM 1, where, well, that wasn't such a big problem, really. So, the first thing I usually do when starting a new game, and please bear with me, folks, I haven't played XCOM Apocalypse in quite a while, so this might get a bit confusing. Um, the vehicles we have as a starting point is this uh, interceptor, which is nice, and then we have these storm dogs and hover cars, which are really not that useful. So, what I used to do is, first of all, take off this laser gun, because we won't be using laser weapons. I take off this engine, uh, and we'll probably use the janitor missile array. I'll also take off these cargo modules and passenger modules, because we won't be using the Valkyr, or whatever, Valkyrie, I don't know, interceptor for our technical missions. We'll be using the Wolfhound. And, well, I guess I can take out this engine as well. Right, now we are going to... We are going to sell this stuff. What do you do that? All oh, right. <laughs> right, so vehicles. We're going to sell the Storm Dog hover car, both hover cars. The reason for this is I sell these big hover cars and buy all the hover bikes available. Remember, in XCOM Apocalypse, stuff is limited to buy, so I will have to wait a week or is it a month here? I think it's weekly. Uh, so these might replenish. And they don't always replenish. The biggest problem with replenishing stuff is the Illyrium. I think. Yeah. See? Illyrium 115. Soul Mine usually does not provide me with enough Illyrium for the plasma systems. But, sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyway, as I said, I buy the hover bikes. They're smaller. They can't take as much beating as the storm dogs, and those hover cars, and they cannot have uh, as many weapons. Now you'll say, why the heck do I do that? Well, the reason is, those big cars are very easy to hit, and while my interceptor is going to take the burden of the alien attack, these little hover bikes will sting the UFOs to death with plasma cannons. So, we won't be needing any of this. What we'll do now is go to airborne equipment, buy light weapons controls. This will be for our hover bikes, and as you can see we can only buy three. I would want to buy four, but they're not available. We'll sell all the laser guns, because we don't need them. And... Hmm. And for now, 
the Lineage Plasma Cannons are not yet available. This is what I want to equip my... Uh, my hover bikes with. I can't though. So, we'll be using... Janitor Missile Arrays for them. So that's four of them. And we have m missiles for them. We'll also buy a two profit missile arrays for our Valkyr or Interceptor. Retribution missile is quite powerful, but it's only got one round, as you can see there. I can't show you because the stats disappear when I move my mouse there. And we're going to buy the SD Sports, only three of them, so we'll buy one Deluxe for our uh, hover bikes. We'll sell the SD Turbo for the Interceptor and buy one Elite. Uh, sorry, not Elite, one Special. This is the best engine available. Fusion Powerful is usually not a problem to obtain. So, right, our soldiers. Grenades are actually useful in this game. Uh, so we'll leave that be. Actually, it might be useful if I go and equip my soldiers first. I'll confirm these purchases. They don't take days to arrive, the purchases, as they do in other games. And you can actually see your purchases being delivered. Look at that. This is the building of Marsic, and they are the uh, manufacturers of hover, hover bikes. And since I've ordered them, look at all the hover bikes and all the equipment that is going to my base. That's that's a pretty neat, neat thing. I quite like that. Right, now. The cargo arrived. We don't want to pause at this message because, well, it's not that important. So, what we need next is We'll equip our soldiers later. I just want to start our research. We'll start our research. Biochemistry we won't have... Oh yes, the biotransport module. We need to research the biotransport module in order to be able to transport live aliens and dead ones, I think, from the... Um, from tactical missions. Now, Actually, I'm getting ahead of myself again. Before I do this, I want to get the best scientists possible. See, biochemists, he's got a skill of 80. So, S Astra has the lowest skill of 60, so she's going to be replaced. Quantum physicist, none available, and engineers, 96. Nice. So, 73... 72. Stefan, you're going to be replaced by Lyudmila. Right. Two units hired and two units fired. Yes. Now they're going to arrive in taxis. So it might take a bit for them to get here. Right, that's all the stuff that's coming to my place. And... I'm going to stop this video for now, and when we return, we'll do some more organizing before we can go and fight some aliens. So, please join me in the next video of Let's Play XCOM Apocalypse.